Welcome to this session on placing diffusers. Devices such as diffusers can be placed individually or as an array. In the first part of this exercise, we will place a group of diffusers in the region bounded by a space in the model. So set the floor selector to the station ground floor. Then select the diffusers tool from the mechanical tab of the ribbon. In the Place Component dialog box, select the catalog item Diffuser Round Ceiling Round Diffuser Top. So a little quick tip, if you type ceiling in the search field, you can filter the list to just ceiling diffusers. Next, find the end spec property and set the diameter to 8 inches or 200 millimeters. This is the diameter of the duct connection to the diffuser. Set the following properties on the round diffuser parameters. So the diffusers are parametric and various dimensions can be defined on the fly to match your selected diffuser. So set the body cone height to 4 inches or 100 millimeters, the body cone diameter to 16 inches or 400 millimeters, the body cone top diameter to 8 inches or 200 millimeters, the connection length to 2 inches or 50 millimeters, the grill diameter to 16 inches or 400 millimeters, the grill thickness to 1 inch or 25 millimeters, and set an airflow rate of 200 CFM or 100 liters per second. From the Placement ribbon, select the Place as Array tool. On the ribbon, set the Placement method to Select Element, and then Place by Center Out, and set a base offset of 9 feet or 2700 millimeters, so that's the distance above the ground floor for the placement of the diffuser. Then for the array, set the perimeter setback to 2 feet or 600 millimeters, Set a row spacing of 10 feet or 3,000 millimeters. Set a column spacing of 14 feet or 4,200 millimeters. And then set the number of rows to 2 and the number of columns to 4. Now let's work in the top view. Then simply select the waiting space from the architectural reference and the array of diffusers will be located based on the center of that space. Select a second data point to define the rotation and place the diffusers. Now we will manually place additional diffusers in the ticketing area and the men's and women's toilet rooms. Again, select the diffusers tool and the place component dialog should default to the previous settings. Then on the placement ribbon, set the base offset again to 9 feet or 2700 millimeters. In the top view, snap to the diffuser on the upper left and type in the AccuDraw shortcut O to reset the AccuDraw compass's origin. Now remember, if you need to return the focus to AccuDraw, you use the shortcut key in F11. Move the cursor towards the ticketing area and use Enter to lock the axis. Type 14 feet or 4,200 millimeters to define the distance and data point to define the location of the diffuser. And then data point again to define the rotation. Then place a second diffuser 14 feet or 4,200 millimeters to the right of the first diffuser. Finally, you will place diffusers in the men's and women's rooms, this time selecting the diffuser from a manufacturer's catalog. In the Place Component dialog box, select the catalog item Diffuser Square Ceiling Round Connection Square Diffuser Top. On the Parameters tab, select a manufacturer's catalog. First, select a catalog name such as Titus or Trox. On the Product Code line, select the pull down 
Then a drop-down arrow appears to the right of that field. From that arrow, select Manufacturer Catalog. This will open the catalog. The selections can be grouped by columns, filters can be applied, and rows can be pinned and unpinned. Filter the diameter column to 8 inches or 200 millimeters and select a 12 inch by 12 inch diffuser or select the ZHQ 400 by 198 by 16 if using the metric Trox catalog. Select OK. The diffuser parameters are then changed to match the catalog item. In addition, the type, product code, and manufacturer fields are filled in. Set the airflow rate to 150 CFM, or 75 liters per second. Set the active snap to center. Little hint, you can use the shortcut key in C to change the snap to center. Tentative snap, selecting both the left and right button on the mouse to the men's toilet space, and then data point to accept. Data point again to define the rotation. Now place a second diffuser in the women's toilet. In the next exercise, we'll run ductwork from the diffusers back to our equipment. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.